Greetings one and all. Welcome to my kitchen here today for a very special edition of Easy and Delicious. <laughs> so yeah, it's a bit of a, uh, yeah, different from my normal format. And yes, I'm a bit nervous, so I am drinking for this one. So what I've got here is a sealed up, and we're gonna call it a mystery box for want of uh, originality. So, so what's in this is a, a heap of rest, uh, ingredients and I don't know what's in here and I'm gonna open this up and attempt to make <laughs> a dish out of it. And similarly with this bag, there's ingredients in here too. And yeah, these were put together by a couple of my subscribers, a couple of workmates, uh, primarily uh, thanks to Julie at work. Um, the one hint I have got is a lot of stuff here, I don't know, here or here, has come out of her garden, so thanks Julie. And I believe Numero Uno you know, subscriber James has got a hand in this too, so anyway, whoever's involved in it, thanks guys. This has been sitting in my, f actually this one's been in my fridge since yesterday. This one's just been sitting out. Now I haven't peeked at all, as tempting as I've been, to have a look, and you're just going to have to believe me on that. Uh, this video is going on the internet, so as we all know, nobody tells lies on the internet. Um, no, but seriously, I, I haven't peeked, but yeah, you just have to trust me on that. So without further ado, let's <laughs> get on with seeing it. I'm going to do the box first. Now this was the non-refrigerated stuff so this has been just yeah taunting me so I'm as uh, <laughs> eager to see what's in here as anyone else I tell you. all right okay so the size of the box which was quite big but otherwise <laughs> there's not as many ingredients as I was feared there's gonna be so first thing we've got here what have we got some rice noodles, awesome. Uh, brown sugar, that's good news. And here, the you know, beauty, one of my favourites on this channel, a whopping big knob of ginger. Oh. Thanks, Jules. She's looking after me here by the looks of it, a couple of limes. <laughs> Favourites, a couple, yeah. about five. Now the rules are, they explain to me, I don't have to use everything in here. I'll try and use as much as I can. And I am allowed to use a few staples like oil, you know, salt and pepper, flour, stuff, just the basics that are in every kitchen. Beautiful fish sauce now. Now I know they are being kind to me, I can sort of relax a bit. <laughs> And, oh yeah, garlic, and that's the box done with, beautiful, I'll leave my knob out, yeah, time for a swig, ah. right, now the refrigerated items, so I assume there's a protein in here, some sort, from Julie, aka Cindy by the way, <laughs> garden, we've got a big iceberg lettuce, you beauty. Now oh, that was taking up a lot of the space too, what have we got here, some, uh, this is just turning out great. Beautiful fresh mint, let's get it out. Heap of it. Uh, oh, so we're definitely going Asian. I'm sure you're aware of that already. Because here we've got whoa, lemongrass. Beautiful. 
tapes on it. Bag of coriander. And this is just you guys. You are awesome. Some spring onions. Grain part. So far I'm not going to be using, using just about everything in that. Ah, you little ripper. And those would have been, as I said, grown in Cindy's uh, garden there. Beautiful red chilies, big ones. And <laughs> I could see it picking out there before. My protein, last but not least, we've got 500 grams on special cheapskates. No, just joking. <laughs> of turkey mince. And I've got to say, guys, straight away, a dish has come to mind that just is screaming at me with these. And it almost sounds like this is a setup. I promise you, this is not a setup, but I just think these guys know me pretty well. <laughs> and know what the sort of things I like to cook and eat. So thanks guys, thanks for taking it easy on me for this first one of these. Alrighty guys, so what I'm, I've got my um, wok here and what I'm doing um, is I've decided I'm gonna make lab, turkey lab, or lab as it's called in Laos, which is basically just a nice fresh salad of mincemeat and yeah, those herbs, and obviously I'm going to be using some of those other things. I've got some chilies, lemongrass, garlic, just to give it all a nice fresh flavour. Now, normally when you make, usually when you make lard, an essential ingredient is you get sticky rice or glutinous rice, and you give it a nice brown in a dry wok, and then pulse it up or grind it up, and it gives them like into almost a powder and you mix that through your salad, through your um, mince and it gives it a nice yummy nutty sort of flavour, a little bit of texture if you leave it. So yeah, <laughs> talk about experience, in, true to the challenge here, I've decided, I have actually got glutinous rice in the cupboard but in the spirit of sticking to this challenge I've decided to see how it works if I take some of these rice noodles and use them instead so that's what I'm doing I'm just giving them a dry toasting I'm going to brown them up then I'm going to give them a bit of a process up and we'll be adding that to our um, salad later and hopefully that works obviously I've never tried that before um, so feel free to join me on the journey <laughs> we'll see what happens Just, um, as you can see, just heating up my mince there, turkey mince. Um, I didn't put any oil in that, um, but as you can see, a bit of moisture is coming out of that uh, mince there, so it's pretty lean, there's not much fat coming out of it, and that's okay. Um, yeah, obviously going to be a very healthy meal tonight. So all I want to do is cook this until... Um, just that liquid disappears basically. And my pan's dry, which won't take too long. Just waiting for it to evaporate. Alright. Speaking of healthy meal, let's have another slug. Alright guys, so that um, water has evaporated off the bottom there now. So I've just turned the heat off that. Now I just want that to cool a bit, but while it's cooling, I've just sort of coarsely chopped all those three red chilies there couple of cloves of garlic and not that whole knob of ginger but just a, yeah, probably about an inch and a half piece and like I say you can see they're sort of yeah, roughly chopped 
swallowed, whatever you want to call it. And just while that's cooling a little bit, it doesn't need to go completely cool, I'll show you in a minute, but we'll just let that chili and garlic and ginger incorporate into it a bit. Alrighty, it's time to start putting this dish together. Um, yeah, that mince has cooled down a bit now, along with that chili and garlic and ginger. Now, the next thing I want to add is I've just made up a bit of a dressing using that fish sauce. So I used about a tablespoon and a half of fish sauce and about two tablespoons of that lime juice and about two teaspoons of the brown sugar. And we're just going to dump that in. around all right now a good handful each of mint leaves that I've just sort of plucked same with the coriander leaves and a good handful of that sliced spring onion scallion just lightly toss that through as well. And last thing into that, we've got our toasted and now ground up, reasonably ground up, but still a little bit cold. Doesn't go quite as fine as the rice, but uh, those noodles. Dry uh, toasted noodles. Yeah, so we'll just, same thing, we'll just mix those through. Smells awesome. <laughs> if I did say so myself, <laughs> I have to say it's a very, uh, as I said at the start, that's a kind industry box. It's got all those smells, flavours that I love. Alright, so that's our lab meat mixture, salad, whatever you want to call it, it's ready to go. So I was just thinking, those of you with an astute eye might have noticed um, one thing I haven't added to that uh, lab there is any of that lemongrass and the reason is it was a little bit uh, woody and they were quite thin pieces so when I sort of was peeling back to try and get to that soft and nice layer that we like to eat there sort of wasn't anything much there so I had to forego using it now what I might do is I've still got one of these lines left actually I've got a couple left because I might just grate in lieu of that just a bit of zest over the top of that lime zest alrighty so yeah, the last ingredient I've got here is some of that um, beautiful lettuce and I'm just going to spoon a couple of spoonfuls into each cup or one and yeah, I mean it's pretty obvious what the go is here just going to basically use the lettuce leaf as a bit of a wrap It needs a bit more chilli. <laughs> Can't ever have enough chilli. Alrighty, I think it's time to uh, try one. So I'll just get the, uh, let's see, you can see it up close. All that yummy freshness in there. Absolutely delicious, guys. Yum, huh? 
Alrighty, thanks Julie for setting that challenge and James and thanks to everyone who's watched it. <laughs> it's been uh, interesting. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm the winner obviously because I get to eat this. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, can I just ask that you hit that subscribe button? Um, that'd be nice. Lots more recipes to come up. Who knows what else? Other wacky things. I'll, I'm trying to talk, uh, speaking of Julie, aka Cindy, into a uh, guest appearance to show us one of her best known secret recipes. Best known because we've all eaten it at work and that, but um, yeah, see if we can get the recipe off her. Alrighty, I'll see you all next time.